everybody? Today we're going to be showing you guys how to do subtraction if you're not really sure of how to do it. Now, if you don't even know what subtraction is, then we'll just top that up right here with subtraction. Subtract. Now, if you've already done addition, you know that addition means to go up. Subtraction means to go down. Okay? You can skip my you can skip my video to get to me showing you guys how to subtract. Here. So Subtract is going down, and going up is addition. So, let's do a problem right now. 7 minus 4. And now, most of you don't know what 7 minus 4 is because you're just learning. Now, what I like to do with my students when I'm teaching them how to subtract for the first time, what I show them is I reverse the 4, the 4 first, and make a little plus box equals, and then the 7 goes last. 4 plus what equals 7? Now, if you don't know how to do that, how many numbers are between 4 and 7 without counting 4 and not going above 7? Alright, if you were to do that, 5, 6, and 7. How many numbers is that? 1, 2, 3. 7 minus 4 equals how many numbers are there? 3. If you understand that, you may, you can do any problem you want. Let's try 6 minus 4. Let's remember what I said. Opposite. 4 plus the box equals opposite equals the 6. How many numbers are between 4, without, I mean 4 and 6 without counting 4 and not going above 6? 5. And six. How many numbers? Five and six. One, two. Six minus four equals two. It works with anything you want, guys. And hopefully you learn a lesson from this. Now, when you get into the upper upper levels of subtraction, you're doing like si something like sixteen minus ten. All you have to do is just go ten plus box. You could probably do it right now if you wanted to. Go sixteen. Don't go below. Don't count ten. And don't go above sixteen. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16. How many numbers is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 10 mi uh, uh, 16 minus 10 is 6. It is totally helpful to use my strategy. After you've learned that, you can just do it mentally. You just go like 6 minus 3. Oh, that's 3. I already know that. But my way is for starters. Hopefully you guys have, no, have learned this already. For those of you who I, I, I've taught this lesson, and remember, subtraction, subtraction is going down, and addition is going up. So just keep this in your mind. Add is up, subtract is down. Okay? And that's all you pretty much have to know for subtraction. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn how to do subtraction soon enough. And have a nice day, everyone. Bye.